JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for July the 21st. I am Harlambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any, any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar kept outperforming all but two of the other major currencies on Tuesday during the Asian session Wednesday. It gained the most versus the yen, the pound and the Swiss franc, while it lost ground only versus uh, the Canadian dollar and uh, the New Zealand dollar. Now, the weakening of the safe haven yen combined with the strengthening of the loonie and the kiwi suggests that markets, markets uh, turned to risk on yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, uh, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major EU indices we are a sea of, uh, we are a sea of uh, green, with investors' morale improving, uh, improving even more during the US session. Appetite softened again in Asia, but still stayed relatively positive. Although Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hang Seng, and South Korea's KOSPI slid, both Japan's Nikkei 225 and China's Shanghai Composite edged higher. Now, with the financial agenda relatively light yesterday and nearly empty today, once again there was uh, no clear catalyst behind the change in uh, sentiment. In our view, the rebound may have just been a correction of the correction. In other words, equities may have rebounded to correct Monday's overstretched slide due to renewed concerns that the fast spreading uh, Delta variant of uh, the coronavirus could hamper the global economic recovery. Did the virus sudden, suddenly vanish? Of course not. Actually, it continues to spread fast and in our view, investors have not suddenly started worrying about the potential, uh, have not suddenly stopped uh, worrying about the potential uh, economic, uh, economic impact. This is evident by the fact that although equities rebounded, the safe haven US dollar remained supported. Market, participa market participants may have just had second thoughts over how relative how, uh, excuse me, market participants may have just uh, had second thoughts over how restrictive any potential new measures could be. In our view, following the economic damages caused by the, by the previous lockdowns, the world may not be able to handle another round of such kind of restrictions. Any new measures could be softer as vaccination rates limit the severity of uh, symptoms of uh, new cases. That's why even if we experience another round of selling in equities, we will not call, we will not call for, a, for a reversal yet. We still see this as a strong correction to the downside of the prevailing uh, positive trends. Actually, we still expect any market effects uh, due to the, the COVID-related concerns to be more prominent in the effects world, as they already are. We believe that the risk-linked Aussie, Kiwi and Looney may underperform more against the US dollar and the yen. However, we prefer to avoid exploiting any potential losses in, uh, in the Kiwi, as it could suffer the least among the three due to the RBNZ's uh, hoggish stance and elevated expectations for a rate hike even as soon as at the bank's uh, upcoming gathering in August. Now, as uh, for today's events, uh, the economic agenda is nearly empty today, with the only release worth mentioning being the Energy Information Administration report on crude oil inventories for last week. Expectations are for a 0 0.557 million barrels uh, built following a 3.657 million the week before, but bearing in mind that the American Petroleum Institute uh, report yesterday revealed uh, a 0 0.806 million barrels built, we would see the risks of, uh, of the EIA number as, uh, as tilted uh, slightly to the upside. 
So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.